Hey guys, welcome to Item of Infotainment. Today I am going to give you a short note on the chapter limits, which will be very helpful in your preparation for JEE. First of all, remember all the identities and equations that I am giving you. This will help you in solving different problems based on limits. Before you evaluate the limit of any function, you must remember these identities. First, root of square of any function is equal to mod of that function. Second, 1 upon 0 plus is equal to plus infinity. It's not exactly 0, it's slightly more than 0. Third, 1 upon 0 minus is equal to minus infinity. And here, it's slightly less than 0 means it's a negative number, a very 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 small negative number. Fourth, when any number a is greater than 1, a raised to the power infinity is equal to infinity and a raised to the power minus infinity is equal to 0. Fifth, when any number lies between 0 and 1, then a raised to the power infinity is equal to 0 and a raised to the power minus infinity is equal to infinity. Sixth, ln 0 is equal to minus infinity and ln infinity is equal to infinity. Seventh, x raised to the power n minus a raised to the power n is equal to x minus a into x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 into a plus x to the power n minus 3 into a square plus dot dot all the way to a raised to the power n minus 1 where x is a variable, a is a constant and n is an integer. If we have any equation like x raised to the power n minus a raised to the power n, then we can solve the equation using this formula. Eighth, limit x tends to a, x raised to the power n minus a raised to the power n, upon x minus a is equal to n into a raised to the power n minus 1. One thing we should keep in mind that this identity is correct only if the limit of x is tending to a. And for all other identities and equations that we are going to learn, this thing must be kept in mind. Ninth, limit x tends to 0, x into sine of 1 upon x is equal to 0. 10th, limit x tends to 0, sine of x upon x is equal to 1. 11th, limit x tends to 0, 10 of x upon x is equal to 1. 12th, limit x tends to infinity, x into sine of 1 upon x is equal to infinity. 13th, now we can see the cases in which the problem comes to 1 raised to the power infinity. 1 raised to the power something is 1, but here it's not exactly 1. It is tending to 1, which raised to the power something tending to infinity. Therefore, 1 raised to the power infinity is an indeterminate form of a function, and hence we use limit to solve such functions. 13th A. If we have two functions f of x and g of x and we already know limit x tends to a f of x is equal to 0 and limit x tends to a g of x is equal to 0 then limit x tends to a 1 plus f of x raised to the power 1 upon g of x is equal to e raised to the power limit x tends to a f of x upon g of x. 13th B. We have limit x tends to a f of x is equal to 1 and limit x tends to a g of x is equal to infinity. Then limit x tends to a f of x raised to the power g of x is equal to e raised to the power limit x tends to a f of x minus 1 into g of x. Here are some more identities for different indeterminate form of functions. 14th, limit n tends to infinity, 
1 upon n raised to the power m into 1 raised to the power m minus 1 f of x plus 2 raised to the power m minus 1 f of x plus dot dot all the way to n raised to the power m minus 1 f of x is equal to f of x upon m. 15th. Limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n into summation of f of r upon n where r is equal to 1 to n is equal to integration of f of x from 0 to 1. 16th. Limit x tends to 1 x plus x square plus x cube plus dot dot all the way to x raised to the power n minus n upon x minus 1 is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2. 17th. Limit x tends to 0 10 of x minus sine of x upon x cube is equal to half. 18th. Limit x tends to infinity a0 x raised to the power m plus a1 x raised to the power m minus 1 plus dot dot all the way to a m upon b0 x raised to the power n plus b1 x raised to the power n minus 1 plus dot dot all the way to b n is equal to a0 upon b0 if m is equal to n. 0 if m is less than n and infinity if m is greater than n where a and b are both greater than 0. 19th limit x tends to 0 sin inverse x upon x is equal to 1 and limit x tends to 0 tan inverse x upon x is equal to 1. 28th limit x tends to a sin of x minus a upon x minus a is equal to 1 and limit x tends to a tan of x minus a upon x minus a is equal to 1. 21st limit x tends to 0 sin of x upon x is equal to pi upon 180 and limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos of x upon x square is equal to half. 22nd Limit x tends to 0, a raised to the power x minus 1 upon x is equal to ln a, where a is greater than 0. 23rd. Limit x tends to 0, log base a, 1 plus x upon x is equal to 1 upon ln a. 24th. Limit x tends to 0, ln 1 plus x upon x is equal to 1. And here are some important points that we follow to make the problem solving techniques easier. 25th. When root terms come in both numerator and denominator, rationalize them and then do the problems. 26th. For any function f of x is equal to integer of x, and when integer of x is in power, then no limit exists. 27th. For the problems with limit f of x upon g of x, convert all the x raised to the power n into 1 upon x raised to the power n by taking x raised to the power n common from both numerator and denominator and then solve the problems. 28th. The last case is that of series expansions. You should remember some of the basic expansions. Some problems will become very easy when appropriate expansions are used. These are all the basic identities that you should learn from the chapter limits, do more problems and this will help you a lot for this chapter. I hope this video was very helpful to you. Thank you.